Which, follow us at twitter.com slash WICD. There are insects around when we normally wouldn't have any, say in late March or early April, we wouldn't have so many yet. But now there's plenty of food for the bats, so they can uh, rouse from hibernation and come out and start eating. Lisa Powers is a bat biologist, originally from Urbana. She says on average only about one half of a percent of bats are estimated to have rabies. We're getting, say, maybe an extra two or three weeks where bats are active, so that is an extra two or three weeks out of the year that people might be more likely to encounter a bat. A field biologist with the Illinois Natural History Survey says although bats are out earlier this year, they are no more dangerous now than they are any other time of the year. The two most common bats that people typically find in their homes here in East Central Illinois are the little brown bat and the big brown bat. The Illinois Department of Health warns people to never approach or try to catch a bat. Instead, they urge people to call their local animal control department. The field biologist points out that bats don't always show signs of having rabies. In fact, bats, when they get rabies, they don't get the aggressive form. They're, they're more likely to act sick, so they might just be laying on the sidewalk or something like that. In response to the confirmed case of rabies in Illinois, the field biologist says it is not uncommon for a bat to test positive for rabies this early in the year.